everybody. Welcome in to Lounging with Loretta. This will be a segment where you get to know who I am as a brand. And I will talk about all the things that I get to do as a person, as a mom, as a daughter, and all the roles that I have to play. And I know a lot of women do too. So hopefully this will be an empowerment segment, an inspirational segment, a really goofy segment sometimes, a really serious segment sometimes. But what I want to do today is share um, from my book, Faith for the Next Step, while I was sitting here drinking my tea out of my tea glass, we decided to share something with you. So, and we will be the um, team that's helping make this possible. Of course, I can't do all of it. But anyway, I want it to be goofy sometimes and serious, so you'll see all of that here. And the page I turn to is the week on charity, and it starts out, charity is one of the greatest gifts we can give. When I was a child, my parents and other people would say, it is better to give than to receive. I thought that was crazy, and it was the craziest thing I ever heard as a child. My thoughts were the total opposite. To me, it was much better to receive than to give. I was thinking about all the cool gifts I would get on my birthday for good grades, Easter, and especially for Christmas. Receiving looked pretty good from where I was sitting. One day, while listening to a sermon for the thousandth time on, it is better to give than receive, I finally got it. Especially when the pastor posed the question, would you rather give to someone in the hospital or be the person in the hospital that someone was giving to? He even took it a step further when he asked, would you rather be the person who lost their job or, and could not afford to buy food or be the person who gave the person who lost their job food? I chose to be the person who gave in each scenario. It wasn't that I decided not to be selfish and to help. I decided that I did not want to be sick or without a job, so I better give more. Obviously, I still didn't get it. Several years later, my true heart took over, and I finally realized why I, it is better to receive than give. Or give than to receive. That's what I realized. Several years later, my true heart took over. I finally realized why I really believed it was better to give than to receive after the same pastor reminded us how Jesus unselfishly gave his life for us. When I give now, it is only because I want to please God and it's the best thing to do at that moment. And to be a blessing to others that are in need, you have to give. It is a gift that I'm blessed to be able to give to others and I realize that. When you give based on just wanting to be a blessing to someone and want nothing in return, including public recognition, that is true charity. To me, the worst thing anyone can do as it relates to giving is to give and tell everybody around you you gave, or even worse, parade the receiver around in front of people and tell the public that you gave to them and how much you gave to them. This is not charity or being a blessing. This is being prideful. We all know what happens to pride. It goes just before the fall. I encourage you to find ways to be a blessing to someone each day. It could be a smile, a phone call, sharing a cup of tea, a month, uh, money gift, or a word of kindness spoken to someone who was expecting you to be unkind. It could be something as simple as cleaning out your closet and donating items to a homeless shelter, Goodwill, or the Salvation Army. How about the next time you're shopping for groceries? Pay it forward by secretly paying for someone's groceries in the same line you are in. Try it. You will be surprised by how amazing you feel after the deed is done. And so each chapter always has an affirmation, a mantra, and this week for charity it says, my charity begins at home and moves outward to others near and far. This has been Lounging with Loretta and High Tea Time. Talk to you soon.